Here at Gaia.com is an article by Gaia staff entitled Harp, a U.S. Conspiracy Magnet. In 1993, the U.S. Air Force began construction on a $290 million project that would enable the government's foremost atmospheric researchers to study the ionosphere, the top layer of Earth's atmosphere. This research center, now run by the University of Alaska Fairbanks, is called the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, or HARP, and is located in the frozen wilderness of Gokona, Alaska. For a number of reasons, HARP's activities have drawn the attention of citizens who are suspicious of the organization's practices. Over the years, HARP has been officially credited with conducting useful and successful research. But because of its highly complex work, officials claim its purpose has been largely misunderstood by detractors. For this reason, it has been ground zero for criticism since its inception. Situated in remote wilderness of an already low population state, purportedly to promote secrecy, HARP features 360 radio transmitters. 180 antennas, and five powerful generators that create geometric patterns in every direction when turned on. The antennas, each a foot thick and stretching 72 feet into the sky, continue to raise eyebrows. Here's a section of the antenna field. Shortly after the facility opened, the public began reporting strange phenomena, not only in the region, but around the world. Activists challenged HARP's activities, questioning what the organization was really up to, while the government continues to, de to deny any connection with changes in weather. The frequencies of earthquakes and chemtrails in the sky. It has made deliberate efforts to quell suspicions about the nature of its operations. Yet these are not nearly enough to quiet Harp's notable detractors, including former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez and former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. Ventura questioned whether the government, government was using Harp to manipulate the weather or overwhelm citizens with mind-controlling radio waves. While the Air Force acknowledged that Ventura had made an official request to visit the research station, nevertheless, he and his crew were denied access. Access denied. One of the most popular and far-reaching accusations against HARP is that the organization deliberately creates destruction on a global scale, causing earthquakes, cyclones, flooding, snowstorms, and other disasters around the globe. Critics of HARP assert it has the capacity to send microwave radiation beneath the ground, strategically pinpointing fault lines, and that the size of HARP's fields of antennas have the pot potential for tremendous damage to the environment, as unlike other ionospheric research centers across the world, only HARP has the ability to focus the energy from the field onto a specific spot in the atmosphere. One of countless earthquakes claimed to have been linked to HARP was the Iran-Iraq earthquake that killed around 500 people six years ago. Despite tensions between those two nations and the United States, more like five years ago, Iran's Deputy Interior Minister for Security and Law Enforcement Mohammad Hossein Zafakari dismissed malintent, denying that such rumors had any scientific basis. Given the fact that branches of the U.S. government have openly discussed technologies used to interfere with the weather and cause Earth changes, it is difficult to dismiss critics so quickly. The Air Force stated, quote, Weather modification will become a part of domestic and international security and could be done unilaterally. 
That means we decide to do it and then we do it. <laughs> it could have offensive and defensive applications. It could even be used for deterrence. The ability to generate precipitation, fog, storms on Earth, or to modify space weather. And the production of artificial weather are all part of an integrated set of technologies which can provide substantial increase in U.S. or degraded capability in an adversary to achieve global awareness, reach, and power.